loud, aggressive, drug dealer, immigrant. All of these are detrimental stereotypes related to a prominent and growing ethnic group in the United States, Latinos. When one hears the word Latino, a variety of different thoughts could come to their head. Many may think of Shakira, or Lionel Messi, or everyone's favorite Mexican restaurant, Taco Bell. Now, these are all non-harmful conceptions that many people have of Latino. However, the disappointing reality is that various other stereotypes exist, and they are not as harmless as these. Both of my parents are Puerto Rican Americans. They grew up with parents who migrated from Puerto Rico, and Spanish was the dominant language spoken at home. Life wasn't particularly easy for them. They had to deal with and balance two widely different cultures at school and at home. And they had, and still have, to face the numerous misconceptions held against their ethnicity. For example, my dad is an accounting manager at a third-party logistics company, Quiet Logistics. In a position of authority, he's constantly conversing with some of the big guys of your favorite companies, like American Eagle and Nike. You'd expect him to be pretty well-spoken, right? I and many others think he is. But listen to this. A few years ago, my parents hired a plumber to handle a situation in my house. My dad is usually the one to handle the business, so he was the one making the call explaining what needed to be fixed. Out of routine, he handled this call quite professionally and spoke very well. Now, the plumber had no idea what my dad looked like, nor did he know his ethnic background. But he certainly made his own simple-minded and ignorant image because when he arrived at my house and heard my dad speaking Spanish, he said, oh, he's Hispanic? My mom was taken a bit aback and said, yeah. He then, not realizing that my mom was also Hispanic, said, oh, he sounded so professional, I didn't know. My mom was very offended, but chose not to express it at that moment. At that time, I was a young girl, so I didn't really understand what was going on, but when I heard this story at my age now, I even felt offended. Why is my dad's professionalism, along with being Latino, so surprising? And this problem, the assumption that Latinos are uneducated or speak broken English, doesn't just relate to men. In fact, it greatly coincides with the sexism that women face in this country, especially in the workforce. From a young age, I've had a strong drive to become my definition of successful. I have my parents to thank for that. Now, almost all parents want their children to be successful. It's basically human nature. But my mom always added something to that conversation. She would say, it's especially important for you to be successful because, you know, as a Latina girl, nobody expects you to. Initially, I wanted to be successful so that I could provide for myself for my parents, and for my own family in the future. But after hearing that, I also wanted to be successful so that I could prove that Latina women are just as capable to prosper as anyone else. My drive grew into something that stemmed from my own goals and ambitions into something based on a negative stereotype regarding both my gender and ethnicity. It shouldn't be that way. And these stereotypes, these misconceptions that are infiltrated in the minds of so many people eventually affect the careers and lives of Latinos all over the country. There was a study conducted at the University of Oxford in which they submitted fictitious applications for a variety of different jobs, a portion of the applicants being the white American majority and a portion of the applicants being Hispanic. The results of this survey showed that Hispanics are 37% less likely to receive a positive callback for a job compared to their white applicants. Based on the information provided in these applications, it was clear that the lack of reconsideration for these Hispanic applicants was derived from the idea that they are threatening foreigners or incompetent. Because of this idea, this mindset that several job employers maintain, finding employment in the United States is extremely difficult for all Latinos. However, are the stereotypical people themselves only to blame? Of course not. For years, media such as Film, literature, and even music has categorized and stereotyped Hispanics. A prominent example of this is West Side Story. Even though, as a theater kid, I can admit this is one of my favorite productions, it is infested with stereotypes. From the idea that all Latinos are gangbangers to the incredibly colorist conception that all Latinos are brown-toned. And you may be thinking, 
well, it came out in 1961, of course it's going to have some xenophobic undertones. And yes, while that is true, the classic Latino character is still present in many modern day films, like Gloria from Modern Family and Jasmine and Spooky from On My Block. So as more people consume media with inaccurately portrayed Latinos, they themselves obtain this inaccurate image, whether they want to or not. And unfortunately, unknowingly, this leads to them microaggressing their Hispanic peers and friends. What they don't know is that what they thought was a harmless joke or assumption can truly hurt that peer and even cause them to do drastic things such as quitting their jobs or dropping out of college. The University of Chicago specifically noticed that their Hispanic students were not graduating at the same rates as their other peers. To understand why this was happening, they conducted a survey asking their Hispanic students a variety of different questions about their experience at the school. The results of this survey showed that Hispanic students felt uncomfortable on campus as a result of being seen or regarded as Hispanic stereotypes, such as the Latin lover or just from generally being seen as unintelligent. This has caused them to drop out of college, resulting in lower graduation rates. The National Center for Education Statistics spotlighted this problem in their 2019 data survey, which showed that the Hispanic college graduation rate was 54%, compared to other groups that had percentages up to 75. All right, now I'm going to get a little sappy here, so just warning. Time never ends. There is always a present and a future. So, lucky for us, there is still plenty of time to diminish these stereotypes. But obviously, that doesn't just happen all of a sudden. We need you. And you might be thinking, what can I do? Well, don't worry. I'll show you. It's as simple as this. Just pay attention. Every day, microaggressions are said towards every minority in the United States. And nobody necessarily calls them out on it because they don't understand that they're harmful. But be that person to understand it. Really think about that questionable thing someone said and call them out on it. More likely than not, if you approach it nicely, they'll completely understand. They'll even be glad that you did so. The next thing to do is to see Latinos as equals. We, as the United States, call ourselves a melting pot. But are we really a melting pot with various cultures? Or do we just accept a certain perception of these cultures and call it a day? Instead of solely relying on mostly inaccurate information presented in the media, really engage with your Hispanic peers, friends, coworkers, anyone, and learn about the reality of our culture. What do we really eat? What jobs do we really have? How many of us have really gone to school? And this doesn't just apply to Latinos, this applies to every minority in the United States. It not only rids your mind of previous misconceptions, but allows you to socialize with new people and immerse yourself in new worlds and experiences. And finally, take action. Be the change that you want to see. And this can be approached in a variety of different ways, like planning a school event, celebrating a native holiday, or creating a film focusing on accurately represented characters of color. The possibilities are endless, and you will always end up feeling glad that you stood up for what is right. Although the effect of stereotypes will never truly disappear, it is incredibly possible to weaken their hold on society. This not only applies to Latinos, but to every minority in the United States. As we focus more and more on diminishing and eliminating these stereotypes, we simultaneously transform this country into a more diverse and inclusive place. We can become the melting pot we truly strive to be. Thank you.